Hi there, everybody. So uh, we are pretty darn excited because uh, tonight is first light. It cleared off, and we're going to have some uh, pretty good skies, I guess. And uh, this is the prototype uh, direct drive, high resolution, absolute encoder. Uh, I think it's the first one of its kind. I'm not positive, but I'd be willing to bet. Anyway, <clears throat> so since there's no gears, you can actually overcome, and it gets into current limit and it moves, but then she comes, bam, right back. We'll do the primary axis. We can't say right assist of declination because that's not what it is. It's not even altitude azimuth. So it's primary axis and secondary axis. So we got 100 volts on there. So that comes out to be about four amps with these motors. We're putting about four, maybe five amps. Um, when we overcome it and it goes into current level. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have the focuser all working. That's a plane wave 12 and a half inch CDK telescope. Um, can you zoom in and uh, get a picture of the electronics here? So here we have the direct drive controller. It's actually a brushless controller. It controls any brushless motor. Um, this is the interface for the absolute Renishaw BISS BIS encoders, which have a resolution of about 67 million. It's 26 bits. Um, this is going to go away in the next incarnation. This will all be on the CPU board, so you won't need one of those boards. But we added it for the prototype. <coughs> and then um, if you wanted to zoom in on the encoder uh, right here, and the, you, you'll be able to see the encoder and the magnets. Come on over and get a nice side view of these magnets here. Um, so uh, we got the coils and the magnets and uh, all, we'd call it homemade. This isn't our home, this is our shop. Anyway, I um, <coughs> hired my nephew who uh, basically had turned him loose on the thing. I didn't really give him any uh, specifics, just generals. And uh, come on, this is Joel. Hi there. He made this thing. The only thing that he didn't make if he didn't do the welding, we had uh, another guy from our shop, Doug, uh, do the welding. Um, although Joel's even learning that, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and run a little script here that's going to make this slew around. If you'll notice, almost every slew until the very end of the script and then it does a loop. They're all 20 degrees in elevation. So let's see here. Quick play. Unclock. Okay. I think we have it set for about 40 degrees a second right now. And there's no pauses between the slews. So remember, look at it, it's 20 degrees elevation. The nice thing about these absolute encoders is uh, you can power up no matter where you are and it'll load the model as soon as I tweak the software a little bit. And uh, everything will, it will know where, it, as long as you don't move your telescope mount, the next day, it's going to know where everything is with your telescope model. And also, speaking of the telescope model, uh, Dave Rowe kindly modified Point XP for a, a mount out mount to work. So we're real happy about that. Tonight will be the maiden voyage of Point XP and all of this stuff. So uh, I did a dry run. It looks like it's all going to work. So I'm expecting it to work tonight. <coughs> so now we're near the end of the script. So now it's doing the uh, it's not 20 degrees elevation on the stop. And now it's going to start over. There we have it. Okay, so now we're going to try to track a satellite. Indoors. Should be good, right? Anyway, um, right now we're sitting here tracking something at the sidereal rate. So let's go uh, over here to the sky view. Well, I see Saturn over there. Let's click on Saturn, go to it. Okay, so we go over here, we click on Sat Track. I'm going to load up a TLE file that you download from the internet. Here's all Sat, so this is pretty much all the space junk there is. Um, so that's above horizon only, but I'm going to click on rising only because we want them only to be rising. I'm going to sort by altitude, 
so that they're going to be high in the sky. And then I'm going to take a look here and see a close one. Here's one that's fairly close. You can see the path. You can see there it is right there. The little, the little fellers coming down this path. Here we are at Saturn. I'm going to click on Start Tracking Satellite. Okay, so now she's tracking the satellite. And uh, take a look at the mount. The nice thing about an alt alt mount is uh, um, if this was an Altaz telescope right now, it, the azimuth would be moving quite fast uh, because it's near the zenith. Uh, with this one, there is no pole in the sky at all. The pole of this telescope is on the horizon, so uh, there's never a time when one of the axes has to move really fast to keep something in the field of view. So that's pretty sweet about this. All right, have a look at the computer screen one more time. So our air is in the arc second range and uh, it's following just fine. So we'll stop tracking, tracking that satellite. And then um, tonight we're gonna try to actually track some real satellites. It's gonna be first light and we're pretty darn excited about this. So this one is, uh, look at it's dead center. It's right there in the middle. Oh yeah, what is it? The same one? No, it's a different one. Oh, not me. Here go. Are you leaving? No, but I want to see it. Look at that. It's still coming up. Look, it's right there. I just, I just want to see what it is right now. Before it's higher. Be better. I want to see it worse. Can you show this? Well, Bob might appreciate it too. I just want to see how. how oh, look, a nice star. Really flies. Uh, ISO 600, that? 60 for yeah. sure That's a satellite right there. That is? That? You can see the telescope's moving. So we're tracking a different satellite. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, that's why I'm saying at this point. And then you know what we're going to do next? If we don't look at Andromeda Galaxy, Victor's my brother in law. This is my brother in law, Victor. He's going to kill me. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to have a tantrum if he doesn't show it next. I mean, not really kill me, but he's like,